hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Today I am reviewing episode 4 of Attack on Titan season 2 and... <laughs> what? What even happened in this episode? So much happened in this episode. Let me tell you a little thing about what happened. Well, we have the whole gang at the castle and they're being attacked by all the titans and stuff and the captain dude, the dudes, the people, the higher up, the people who actually have the weapons are like, we're gonna go protect ourselves slash us all together. You guys go protect yourselves and create a reinforcement and gate off the place and they're all like, yeah, awesome, great idea. We don't have any weapons, but you know, we're gonna go do the thing and Rainer being the precious Rainer that he is. Rainer, is that his name? He's like, I'm gonna go do it. And he goes, and he's like, opening the door, and he's like, ah, no Titans here? Okay, cool, and goes to the next door, and I'm like, what, what, what are you doing? There could be a Titan literally right behind that door. But, oh, he, he still goes for it. He opens it, and guess what there is? A Titan, right there, and you're like, what? I told you this would happen, but anyways, he closes the door and he has like a flashback to where it was him, this other dude, I don't know if we know this other dude or my memory is just like, eh, I don't know, but there's another dude and then Bert, Bert, uh, his homie. And then Rainer actually gets pushed out of the way when attack, when attack on Titan, when a Titan is attacking him by his friend and then his friend gets eaten and stuff so he had like this slash and he's all like is this where I'm gonna die and he's like nah -uh. and then he dodges it and he's all like Pa choo choo and then long story short he ends up defending himself with the Titan and then we're all like yay all is well Ymir and Krista shove a cannon down everything is awesome everything is fine there's definitely only one Titan just kidding another Titan comes out of nowhere and Connie is like La 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 la, just chilling, and then Rainer's like, no, and pushes Connie out of the way. Titan chomps on Rainer's arm, and you're like, no, no, he cannot die. And then Rainer, being him, just like, not only, like, it's like chill about being bitten, he lifts the Titan on top of him. No, not only that, he walks upstairs and is literally about to jump out of a window to save them and you're like what but Connie was like he does a smart thing and he's like it's okay we can just cut up his jaw and he'll release and then he was and then they all just kind of look at him and I'm like push him out push him out and Ymir finally does that and you're like there we go yes girl you got it while all this is happening just every poop is hitting the fan <laughs> and the beast titan decides like oh this isn't enough so Everyone's gas is out pretty much. Blades are being broken and then there's the four of the duty dudes outside doing their things and then Beast Dude decides what better way to make everyone's lives better than to start throwing giant rocks at them. <sighs> so instant kill. Two left. No gas. No blades. They're screwed. This might be in a different order, but like the main points are still here. Man. So, the dude with the hair is like, okay, well, I just want one more drink. And then he ends up getting eaten. That happens. And then really sad, I forget what her name is. N Namada? Namade? The girl with the short hair, really cool chick, ends up getting taken because she literally has no gas and it's a really... Ah, oh, I hate it because they do the scene so well. Like the Titans are like gnawing off one piece at a time. They don't just go all in. They're like, let's chomp off one leg at a time. An arm, another arm. Let's just let her scream. And oh, so all the kids were at like the top of the tower, and they're like, "What's gonna happen? Are we gonna die?" And Ymir's like, "Nah, it's not happening." And they're like, "We only have this knife." And she's like, "Give it to me." And we're like. Oh, what is she gonna do? And at that moment, I was like, oh, it's happening. She's a titan. She's definitely a titan. I don't know how, but she's a titan. And then guess what? She jumps off the tower, slices her hand open, and bam! <laughs> transformations. Boom. You mirror titan. We don't actually get to see the full transformation, but we see it pretty much happening. And 
knew it. I knew it. Overall, this episode was super duper amazing, awesome, wonderful. Loved it. This episode was awesome. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was like, what's gonna happen? Are they all just gonna die? That would be kind of tragic. But you know, quick way to kill off all of those characters at once. What is the secret with Krista? What is the secret with your mirror? Who knows? But this episode really, I really enjoyed it. It was good and it just kind of makes me mad the whole time because I'm like, why don't the cadets have any, any weapon, any sort of weapon? Like, they didn't have a chance to put on their gear and stuff, but like, do they not have any other weapons that they could use? Like, Levi has a gun at one point, why can't they have guns, you know? Like, obviously it's not going to be able to protect them completely from the Titan, but you know, it can feel a little bit more useful, I don't know, but overall, awesome episode. Loved it. Can't wait for next week. And yeah, that's it for my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I make a bunch of videos a weekend. Bye!